Are you looking to get away to a tropical paradise? If so, you've come to the right place. We're Jamie and Skyler, and recently we spent a week at the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar, a stunning, adults-only, beachfront resort near Punakana. In this video, we'll take you on the ultimate tour of this all-inclusive resort. We'll check out a room and show you all around the property. From food and drinks, to pools and beach, we've got it covered. The tour will start off at the resort lobby, where your experience at the resort will begin on your day of arrival. From there, we'll check out some of the other buildings and amenities at the west end of the property, before working our way east, where you'll find the pool, beach, and the majority of the restaurants. But first, let's back up just a bit to the arrival at the massive Bahia Resort Complex, which actually includes a total of seven different Bahia resorts. Your airport shuttle will likely drop you off at the Aquamarine Property Lobby, located just to the west of the Ambar property. Here you'll find some refreshing drinks and a painless check-in process before continuing on to the Ambar Lobby, just a short cart ride away. When you arrive here on the Ambar property, you'll likely be dropped off in the lobby, which is right behind me. Now the lobby is connected to quite a few things. To my left, there's the coffee shop, and across the walkway, you'll find a little area for shopping too. Then on the other side of the lobby, it's connected to the 24-hour medical clinic. And there are also a lot of other options in the lobby that we'll show you here in a little bit. And perhaps our favorite of these options is the lobby bar, which opens at 10 a.m. and offers a variety of liquors, cocktails, non-alcoholic drinks, and of course, the local beer, Presidente. Just a few short steps from the lobby bar, you'll find the main restaurant, Palmyra, which serves a variety of international cuisine for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While we generally preferred to eat our meals near the beach and at the a la carte restaurants, we did enjoy occasional visits to Palmyra for their fresh tropical fruits, which can be enjoyed in a salad, juice, smoothie, or even a crepe. You can see much more of our food and other Ambar experiences in our three additional videos, which we'll be posting after this one. Back in the lobby, Ambar guests will find the front desk along with other desks for booking things such as transportation, excursions, and dinners. Here, guests will also find the plans and reservations kiosk, which we highly recommend using to book your dinners upon arrival if the Bahia app is not working properly. Guests will also find that the lobby lights up every night when they can enjoy some after-dinner drinks along with one of the rotating live musicians. One of our favorite spots on the entire resort was without a doubt the coffee shop, which can be found right next door to the Ambar lobby. Visitors to the coffee shop won't just find great coffee, but also, in our opinion, the friendliest staff on the entire resort. Of the coffee options, our favorite was the cappuccino with cream, which we found to be a little sweet, a lot creamy, and absolutely delicious. In addition to the coffee, visitors to the coffee bar can choose from a variety of desserts at no charge. We only gave into the temptation once during our visit when we enjoyed a piece of delicious lemon pie. Right next to the coffee shop, you'll find some shops where you can browse through a variety of local art, souvenirs, clothing, swimsuits, and other beach gear and accessories. Just past the shops, you'll find a medical clinic, which does include a pharmacy and 24-hour doctor availability. Just around the corner from the medical clinic, you'll find the sports bar, which during our stay was used for COVID testing during the day and open for its normal use at night. If you're looking to keep the party going late into the evening or just want to watch some sports or grab a late night snack, then the sports bar is the spot for you. And if you're looking for great chicken wings or an extra dirty martini, well, you can find those here as well. And after a night of drinks and chicken wings, you might just be ready to hit the gym, which you can find right next door to the sports bar. 
The gym is typically open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but during our visit, hours and capacity were limited due to COVID and reservations were required. Once inside, fitness lovers will find a well-equipped gym with a good selection of cardio and weight machines, free weights, and a bright and spacious yoga room. On the north side of the lobby, you'll find the Limbo Restaurant, the most formal of the Ambar a la carte restaurants, and the only one requiring long pants for men. An unexpected surprise at Limbo was their selection of craft cocktails, which Skylar and I both approved of. Now that we've explored the lobby and surrounding area, it's time to head towards the beach. Along this beautiful walk, you'll pass through the 11 buildings, which contain over 1,000 total rooms. The resort also includes over 100 ground floor swim up suites, which we agreed would be worth the extra cost should we return to the Ambar. Hey guys, we want to tell you a little bit about our room here at the Kia Principe Luxury Ambar Resort. When we checked in, they gave us these wristbands here, and there is actually a chip in this wristband that is our room key, which we think is great because we don't have to worry about losing our room keys. So let's go check out the room. Once you walk into our room, the bathroom is to the left here. And look at this shower. I'd say it's pretty good size. It's got a rain shower head and it also has one of these. And we do want to mention what the resort provides. They have shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and body lotion. They also have shower cap, sewing kit, a shaving kit, a comb and a dental kit. So if you forgot something, the resort just might have you covered. And moving to the right, there is the faucet and the toilet as well. Now in the hallway area over here, we have got quite a bit of storage along with some robes and some slippers. Over here, we've got more storage and our safe. And if you turn around, we have a little mini bar. Here's our mini fridge. And everything in here is free. When we got here, there were some sodas, waters, some chips, some liquor. There were also some beers, but I'm not quite sure where those went, Skylar. <laughs> I have no idea. Now let's get to the main living space here. So first off, we have a giant king-size bed. I like the looks of that. We also have more storage, a decent sized TV, and over here we've got a nice table to unpack your luggage. We have a lounge area. We also have a desk if anybody here is working. And of course, the balcony. So we ended up in building 60, which is only a short walk away from the main pool and also the beach. Now the website does advertise being able to choose your own room a few days before if you use their app. But unfortunately during our stay, that wasn't an option. So we were only able to put in a request. We had requested a third floor room that overlooks the main pool. And we ended up in a second floor room that overlooks one of the swim up pools. And now that we're here, we're okay with this location because at the main pool, it would be quite loud in the afternoons because they have quite a few activities that go on during the day. And with this room, we get a view of one of their sister properties and it's much more peaceful. Now that we've had a chance to show you our room, it's time to explore the rest of the property. So let's go check out the pool. Guests will find the main pool located on the east end of the property, right next to the beautiful Bavaro Beach. During our stay, the main pool opened daily at 9, with the pool bars opening an hour later at 10. We found the pool to be most enjoyable early in the day before the crowds arrived and the music started to blast. 
While the Ambar property only has one public pool, guests will soon discover that it is massive, making it easy to find space for yourself even during the busiest times of the day. We especially enjoyed the shower heads along the islands in the pool, which helped to create a relaxing environment and provide a really good shoulder massage too. While we found the drinks at the pool bar to be a bit hit or miss, we can assure you that every drink tastes better when drank out of a coconut. We'd recommend enjoying the drinks in one of the Whirlpool tubs or maybe even while taking a poolside Spanish lesson. When 7 p.m. rolls around, the people move out and the ducks move in, while the pool recoups for the next big day ahead. A few steps to the north of the pool and just off of the beach, you'll find three of the property's restaurants. Furthest to the west, you'll find Portofino, the a la carte Italian restaurant, which we did not get a chance to try during our stay. Past Portofino and closest to the beach, you'll find the a la carte restaurant Meat Steakhouse. Fortunately, we did get a chance to eat at meat, twice actually. And while we can't wait to show you our delicious meals at meat, You'll have to check out our Baia Ambar Restaurants video to see them. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when that video is posted later this month. Right in between Portofino and Meat Steakhouse, you'll find Las Brisas Beach Restaurant, which offers a daily a la carte breakfast menu and a lunch buffet. Las Brisas allows guests to dine both poolside and beachside, making it our go-to breakfast, lunch, and Bloody Mary spot. We'll show you much more of our Las Brisas experience in our upcoming restaurants video as well. While technically not on the Bahia Ambar property, you'll find four more restaurants at the Las Olas Beach House, bordering right on the south of the property. Ambar guests are allowed to book dinners at these restaurants, and those who do may be rewarded with a stunning view like this one. We'll be posting more of our experience at Las Olas Beach House shortly, and by now we're guessing you know where to find it. At this point in the tour, we've shown you almost everything that this amazing resort has to offer, except for just one little thing, the beach. But don't worry, we were just saving the best for last, and this beach is arguably the best. We found the Ambar beachfront to be absolutely pristine during the majority of our visit, as the beach cleaners did a fantastic job of removing any seaweed which had washed up in the mornings. And while we show you a little more of this beautiful beach footage, we'd like to remind you that this is just the first of four videos we'll be sharing of our stay at the Bahia Principe Ambar. Future videos will include how to best spend a day at the Ambar, a restaurant guide, and the top things we like and dislike on the resort. So if you like this video and are interested in seeing more of our Bahia Ambar experience, please subscribe and turn the notifications on. One of our favorite times to enjoy this beautiful beach was at sunrise, where every morning we would find a small group gathered to watch the sky catch fire. And even if you're not a morning person, you may find yourself to be one on this trip as the morning beach walk experience had us eager to be up by dawn every day. Another great reason to get out on the beach early is to reserve one of the many beachfront palapas. While we could usually find an open palapa at any time of the day, the ones closest to the water do get taken early. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what could make this beach any better? Well, how about a fresh made pina colada at this beachfront stand?
Not a pina colada fan? Maybe a rum coconut is more your style. And while both drinks will cost you $5, this is one upcharge that we would recommend. Yet another great option for drinks located right on the beach can be found at Arecife, which offers amazing staff and service. Here our go-to drinks were the mojitos, yeah. which are both 100% free and delicious. And when you get hungry, but just can't tear yourself away from the beach, no need to worry, as the staff cooks up an amazing lunch daily right on the beach as well. When the afternoon heat starts to set in, it might be time for a dip in the sea, and a refreshing escape is never more than a few steps away. From the lobby to the sea, and everywhere in between, we hope you enjoyed our tour of the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar. To see more of our content from this amazing resort, be sure to check out our other three videos which will be posted before the end of 2021. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching!